Welcome back to the quarry. When we last left off, we discovered that there may be werewolves, or that the creatures that are in the woods may be werewolves. Um, at least that's the current theory. We were locked in a jail cell, and I'm pretty sure crap's going to hit the fan. But um, for now, we're jumping right back to where um, we last left off with Laura, so let's see what happens. Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? What? what what's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like... Zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. <laughs> That'd be cool. I want a time hopping Dracula game. Laura doesn't have time Bye, for this. Right? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. You let her finish, man. Would it really be so crazy with all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish. And you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. What did she show him? Just her messed up eye, maybe? Or was there something else under there? The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers. But aside from that, we barely saw him. Bax and I, we talked a lot as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, yeah. a plan. We keep saying that. But it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we we don't even know if that's what's really going on and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. To make him think that he finally broke us down. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch and mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. Yeah. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. Yeah, probably. <sighs> You're right. Escape's the only way. Hey, what's he gonna do to us that's any worse if we get caught, right? Let's just... not get caught. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get She's washed up... She's saying this a little loud. You jump him. You tackle him down, down and... 
take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell, and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right, okay, that's not really a plan though, you know? That's just kind of saying let's escape, but with a whole lot more words. No, yeah. he won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now, we'll catch him in the back foot. He's watching on the camera though, right? So he uh, clearly, or probably heard our whole plan. Really? Careful. Uh, uh, uh. Really? Oh man, we should have tried to talk to him. We messed up. Genius. But what about my shower? Shh. I said. Take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Yeah, show me. Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Ah! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! We're gonna be able to break off this radiator. You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. Wrapping things up here. No. It's a bad Nine idea. 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. She's pretty close to those bars, and if those things looked like they had long limbs. I feel like it might be able to reach out and grab her. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see. don't feel so good um what do you need what can i do to help i was just hot are you hot oh, i'm kind of stuck next to this big ass pipe so i'm not exactly cool just stay back okay you shouldn't be this close there's not a lot i can do about that right now <sighs> max Oh God.
Wow, she bandaged herself so badass. So much for depth perception. She is taking it relatively well that her boyfriend just uh, is become a monster. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. So she left and then came right back, huh? We should probably check on him, right? Oh, we can't see. Well, if we go up next to it, um... Well, let's not walk next to it. Jeez, we uh, definitely lost a lot of blood. It's over here. Showers. Alright. Mm, let's not head out the door just yet. There's a few doors, actually. hiding okay it looks like we're in like a basement oh, well maybe not basement because there's yeah oh there we go the chariot the music's getting very intense for some reason I'm gonna need to rest soon. Ha. Mama's boy. Hmm. Fifty six. That means he was born in nineteen sixty five. So I guess we can get scratched by the werewolves. Is he, is Max gonna get out? Because if Max gets out, that's gonna really suck. Ooh, gay. Just what we need. This must be what he used to knock me out. And we're gonna use it on him? I can hide this in my cell. What would be even better is to basically drug him and then lock him in the cell with Max. Get Max to bite him. And then when he wakes up the next time, he's like, Congratulations, you're now part of the club. July 7th. Wait, was I able to go in here? Did we already go in here? Don't know. <gasps> it's a fake badge. Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. Oh, it's charred. Okay, I thought it was a mold. This old sheriff's badge is badly fire damage. Does it belong to the current sheriff or one of his predecessors? It's a good question. You know, she keeps saying she needs to lie down. Maybe I should acknowledge that and actually go lie down. Maybe um, something bad will happen if I don't. So we're going to go do it, just in case. We have the syringe. We we have a way to fight back now. Yeah, because he'll see that we not only got out, but we bandaged ourselves and went right back, so we didn't leave. So that might actually gain us some level of trust. Locked. Beggars. 
But I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait. Yeah, I guess. let's go back to the cell. You gotta hide the uh, hide the syringe. Let's wait. Nap time it comes. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? Hmm. We've got unfinished business. Like what? Like how you're gonna tell me exactly just what the fuck is really going on here. Why would I do that? Because I could be halfway home by now. But I'm not. Because I have to help Max. Maybe I can help you, too. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me, too. Good thing we hid the syringe. Brew some coffee. Good. I will accept your coffee. How dare you lock me in? What's this? An education. Watch. We're going to be really careful about this, but we might be able to get him. If nice we... job cleaning up. The eye. I mean. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Now, where's that coffee? It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be stuck in here forever you know just because you know doesn't mean you know you know sure uh what i'm not this isn't what it seems to be you're gonna have to be more specific You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're going to end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. 
Not what I had in mind. You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max, and I'm gonna get what I need. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Hmm. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. No. That would have been a bad move. And if, if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Hmm. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, it has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. So wait, if Max got me in the eye, doesn't that mean I'm infected now too? No. Scratches don't do it. We kind of already determined that. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. Mm. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I want to know what he showed him. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. 
He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Okay, good. But how are we gonna do it? Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. Hmm. We're gonna fix you, Max. Promise. I promise. You said let me in there. Rick! I know they're in there. Uh oh. Who? The counselor that didn't show up. Why'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Well, this is gonna go. It's probably not great. Shit. Why? Why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. They're still here, that's fucked up. Fucking bit one of them, Chris. What am I supposed to do? He bit one? What was that? Got it. No. You shot me. I'm telling Mom. Thank your lucky stars wasn't silver. What's your plan? Oh my gosh, so this is all making so much more sense. So Chris was probably what was in the basement. Um, he probably locked himself down there um, on that night so that he wouldn't get out and hurt anyone. They show up. The cop didn't want them to go there because he's like, well, Chris wouldn't have let them come there because this is a full moon night. Um, yeah, it's making a lot more sense as to why he uh, why he didn't want us to go there in the beginning. Yeah, can't keep him here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Are you those know hikers? It. That, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we going to do now? Whatever happened to, we're all in this together. Shh, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Ryan's Holy not going to want to believe this. Just saying. Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess... Thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... You gotta kill Chris. Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Let's kill Chris Hackett. <laughs> That's what Tomorrow they're thinking. We're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Yeah, but you gotta kill him with Silver on the night of a full moon, right? Hey, hey! Which means he'll turn. You gotta kill him while he's in werewolf Laura form, apparently. Uh, Laura? Uh, Laura, are you okay? Uh, this is the oldest trick in the book. God damn it. What's going on? Laura! Jesus. 
She's showing that way too clearly. Fuck. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> Leave him locked up. Although, uh, maybe we shouldn't, because he clearly did try to save us in the beginning. I'm starting to think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we should go before he wakes yeah. up. It's not a night of a full moon right now. Our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Someone picked us up here. No, I, I still can't. It's coming from behind that door. So he can hear it too. Oh God, what are we gonna find behind this door? nobody in here but is there the ammo you're being led what to the, the right spot he makes them what is it shotgun shells he loads them with silver that's where he was last month hunting well I guess he won't be needing this anymore mm, you can take it anyway hey just in case something we're free <laughs> mm. hell yeah we are that's two months we'll never get back but for now we're one step closer to going home mm -hmm. and when is that tonight going to Hackett's quarry and we're killing Chris Hackett yeah but I'm wondering if they kill him but when it's not a full moon or something and when he's not in werewolf form if, if it actually cures like what if Hackett does die but it doesn't cure uh, Max that would suck alright guys I think that's it for now um this is interesting I was not expecting it to be uh just straight up werewolves it's kind of odd um so far, I like the uh, monster from the first game a little bit better. But these are these are cool so far. We'll just see what happens. Um, I'm really curious how this one's going to end. Hope you guys are going to join me to the end. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, your day. And I will see you in the next video.